me start that again. Good morning. A rare opportunity has presented itself for me today. Um, a little car boot sale have started up. Well, a couple, it's two, I've been going for two or three weeks now this year um, near myself. And I spoke to the owner and he has agreed for me to film, providing I make sure I cut out all the people's faces and the, the bits where I'm filming people and just put in the stalls and blur out any faces or number plates I can't cut. So, we're going to have a bit of live footage today. It's a little bit cut up. Now, it's only a small car boot sale, but it's a good car boot sale. Um, what I will say is, because it's not, you know, hundreds and hundreds of cars, when something comes out of there, it comes out of there really, really cheap. Now, there's a picture of it, their picture on their Facebook page. And as you can see, it's a beautiful looking place. Nice, uh, beautiful blue sky it was. And there's the address there. So, Boots Hill, Hangoy, Tirbirth, uh, just off New Road, CF82 8BF. So, if anybody is interested in going here, that's where um, today's filming and little buys come from. Now, what I will say is, I haven't had anything. I'm going to jump up and down and scream, oh, my God, today. It's more work in stock. But I don't know whether you remember last year I bought that Afghan rug uh, for a fiver. That was from there. Um, and I, I had the um, Pirelli brass belt buckles for £2.50 that were worth £1,000 each. They come out of there. And now I'm allowed to film. It's going to be hit and miss on whether I pull anything out because it doesn't always come out because it's public. It's a lot of public selling at this one rather than dealers. But if it comes out, it comes out for nothing. Anyway, shit. I'm going to cut in now and I'm going to share with you today's uh, live footage. And then we're going to talk about the pieces at the end, and I'm going to show you some of the pieces and why I bought them and what they're worth. Hope you enjoy. How much is your brooch, please? Um, that's five. Right there, shall I give it a go? Yeah, please. It's got a little pull out. Pull this out. Let's have a look at this one. Oh. There we are. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got a little pull out. Yeah. Asking a bit more than that, but we can do something on that. What can you do on it? Asking 12. Mm -hmm. So you're interested in a, like a bolt? I will be, depending yeah. on what uh, I find, yeah. Yeah. All I gotta do is find my eyeglass somewhere. I had it just now. Shall I put a group together, see what yeah, you can yeah, do? do that, yeah. Thank you. Right, I'll keep that handy. So put those two there a second. There's that one that didn't go on there.
I remember you know from Splot. I remember the biscuit barrel. Oh, I got my, uh, got the my eye. Ah. Were you the gentleman I had all the glass, glass off a few weeks ago? The oh, Fabergé glass and that? I didn't see you with a hat. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, that was us. You got any nice glass on today? No. Okie dokie. No. Always worth asking. Yeah, no, I've got a little bit more jewellery. A little bit more just ordinary silver jewellery, modern silver jewellery. Right. The weather looked nice, we thought we'd have a day out today. Yes. I remember stalls, not people. Yeah, it's, it's funny because that's a, it's a bit unusual, that. Yeah. I am um, very rare. I look at people's faces. You know, I did walk past people and they just think, oh, you're being rude. And I, I'm actually focused my, on the stalls. My other half is here today and she's, um, she does jewellery and stuff. Yeah. And um, she remembers places. If we go to park the country, yes. she'll remember it by what she bought there, but she won't remember the town. Yeah, I'm exactly the same. No big lumps of silver or anything, no? Be nice, Bob, wouldn't it? Well, for a few minutes, it's just those two. Okay. What can you do on those two for me, please? Right, that's 17. Do it for 12. How's that? Fabulous. You Thank you. Free. That's fabulous. There are a load of modern rings. I'm stuff. here for a while. I'm not going nowhere. I will be back. Believe me. Yeah. Um, if, I give, if I give you 22, can you give me 10, please? Much as you will. Um, cool. And your knots. Same. Same. How much is your dragon? The dragon. Uh, two. I'll take both those, love, please. All, all this today. Everything I I make today. So my grandson's um, football team oh, right. in Philly. I'll have both those, my love. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I say much? No. No, sorry. I can't. It's all right, love, no money. Sorry, thank you. Thank you. I just put a bit of change in. Well, that's nice. Four pound, six dollars. Real nice uh, oak and cord. Advertising all the ship's knots with a wheel in the middle. That's a nice example. I would think that's going to be plus 20 pounds and a nice mahogany ship's wheel brass in the centre, nice studs four pound again, six dollars again again should be 20, 30 pound it's a good start to the morning
morning. How much is your cane, love? I'll have that, please. I've got to change over. So on your set of bowls? Ten pound mate. For the three, is it? Yes, yeah, The one's damaged, but I'll still have them if you can wrap them up, please. Yes, good. Fabulous. Thank you. Morning. Sounds good to me, I love paperweights. See what you pull out. What is it, 418? I don't know, no, we sold some to keep uh, rats. I don't know. Um, the final one? They said they've gone to a big uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have sold a few. Oh, really? Yeah, mate. In there, so they're getting put out 50 pounds. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay. How much is your little dish? Milano. Two pounds. Two pounds? Yeah, it's a Milano one. Yeah, that's fine, darling. I'll have that, please. Yeah. There you go, my love. Two pounds. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There you are. Thank you ever That's so much. Lovely. Cheers, my darling. Yeah, I don't know. Hi there. Mug thing to put all on. I'm doing that. Oh, look at that. There you are. Thank you, my darling. Yeah. Mug, you know, I've actually got to hang with it. Okay, we're here, place again. He said he's going to give it a go. First time, I think. He's come. My, man, my man's got a nice camera on his oh. head there. <laughs> yeah. If he comes in, I'll, I'll be a Just in case you missed something. Well, you never know, do you? <laughs>
Yeah, I'm no. sure I miss plenty. Yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> this man next to me don't miss nothing. Eagle Eye, we call him. Eagle Eye yeah. John. <laughs> See, he was telling me who's from Splot, who's from wherever. You see him from a mile, isn't it, John? It is, a little Edwardian oil lump shed. With gas, gas converted to electric there. Yeah? Oh, cool. I don't know whether that was a, probably the same as here, isn't it? How much is your plant pot, please? Three pounds. Huh? Okay, thank you. Brand new, never knocked the box. And there's six discs in it as well. What's on your necklace, mate? Oh, you paid that one back. How much did you pick up? It's 40 pounds a pair. I paid 100 pounds for them last year in Trevor. This is the budget I'm looking at. Large grinder. Just cut that, yeah. And how much are your earrings? Three, three quid. Can you do the two for fiver for me? Yes, I will. Thank you. Good morning, love.
have just been sarcastic. No, no, you did drop the flight down <laughs> there. See if I can see enough. If you were buying there, I didn't want it to be a flight short. How much you bottle up now, love? You go any better on that? Five only, no. It makes more than five actually. Sorry? It, it is more than five actually. It should be more than five. Five is the best. Have you got change? Yes, I have, yes. Okay, I'll have it then, please. Thank you very much, love. Okay, thank you. How much is your picture? Um, three quid. Just what I want to my garden. Is it, it is actually. I was trying to determine if it's an old one or if it's a reprint and stuck on the board so I have to carefully remove every looks alright. 95. Yeah, I'll take that please, fella. Yeah. Any date on it, you know? You can see. I think it is. No batteries, I presume, is there? Batteries, no, no, no oh, batteries. Really? Yeah, that's fair enough. How much are you asking for it? How much your figures? Thank you. See if I can see enough. If you were buying there, I didn't want it to be a flight short. How much you bottle up now, love? You go any better on that? Five only, no. It makes more than five actually. Sorry? It, it is more than five actually. It should be more than five. Five is the best. Have you got change? Yes, I have, yes. Okay, I'll have it then, please. Thank you very much, love. Okay, 
Thank you. Okay, so what can I say? <laughs> um, it was a nice day and I was allowed to do a little bit of filming. So I bought myself a new head camera and happy days. So we're going to start off with a bit of jewellery. And this is actually one of my favourite pieces of the day. Now, as you saw, I bought this off a trader. Um, first thing, I bought this one and this one. So I had, this is a celluloid brooch. This is a silver marquisite. We'll talk about that one in a minute. Now, this one is a scene pretty much straight out of Shakespeare. It looks like Romeo and Juliet. You have the uh, lady or the maiden on the balcony and someone trying to woo her with the birds in the tree. Pearls coming around the edge. Now, very important. Take note of the clasps, different clasps for different periods in time. This is like the uh, barrel, safety barrel, where you pull it out or way out and then bring it out. I will actually have to write an article on um, date in the different clasps because um, if you depend on the clasp, will help you date the brooches and things. So this one is around 1920, 1930, a celluloid, and it is well, Romeo and Juliet as far as I can see. Now, I have managed to find another. Now, as you know, I bought two brooches for £10, £5 each. So this five pound owes me about seven and a half dollars. I was doing a Google search and what do I find? But there we have it. Romeo and Juliet, celluloid brooch pin, Shakespeare, lovers scene, Romeo and Juliet, sold out of stock, 95.39. Now theirs is slightly different. They got a celluloid border, mine has got a pearl border. And I don't know whether mine has got some damage, but if you look at theirs with the lovebirds on the branch, their branch comes all the way across. Mine doesn't. So it's very possible that it's been uh, snapped, or it could have just been carved that way. I'll have to get it under an eyeglass, but it looks okay. But it doesn't make any difference either way. Um, so... My five pound or seven and a half dollars is retailing, sold at 95.39. Strange figure, I know it's obviously translated currencies. Um, so what are we talking? I think that's a 40, 45 pound brooch on my website, as you see it now. So I'm really pleased with that. Uh, there's a lot of people that love the theater, love Shakespeare. Um, people that collect celluloid brooches. That one will have a good following. I don't think it'll stick around for long, to be honest with you. So my five pound went to 40, 45 pound, no problem at all there. Now this was the other brooch I purchased and I was a little fast. Now it's a sterling silver um, Italian brooch um, with the, you know, the oarsman on the gondola. Um, the downside with it is I didn't realize it's missing two, I think it's two of his marcasite stones. Now they're easy enough um, to put a new marcasite stone in if you got them, it's just, Tiny dip in glue and back in. It is that simple. You can buy marker seats. And to be honest with you, I should start buying the variety of sizes and start repairing them, but I just don't. Um, because of the missing stones, it's now worth about a tenner, in my opinion. Um, but I'm still going to double up. Seven and a half dollars, five pound is going to go out for a tenner. It's going to double up. If it didn't have the missing stones, I'd have been asking about 20. So they come in almost straight away. The celluloid brooch, celluloid brooches are something that really do sell well. People don't realize that a lot of the general public or a lot of the new dealers who use their phone to identify stuff and things, they're looking for gold, they're looking for silver, and they miss over a lot of the antique jewelry. That celluloid brooch, a big following. This is what we have next, is a bit of a saucy uh, little lady. This is a solid brass nude lady bottle opener. A little saucy, and you know what? They like them. These nudes, they come in all forms. You can get bells, you can get bottle openers, corkscrews, nutcrackers, everything. 
There's a little brass nude. 45 pounds. There's a variety but there of different things. I don't know what they are. There's a single there again, 25 pounds. There's a single there, 22 pounds, 21 pounds. There's another there. There's a bell there, 18 pounds. And you'll see these all the time around the place. Now, this one is actually, I know these, these ones here. I've had many of these over the time, and they're quite thin and quite lightweight. The one I've got now is actually considerably thicker. She's actually got a lot more form to her. She's a lot more detailed. Everything's more pronounced. Um, it cost me a fiver, as you saw. And again, I see that at about £35. So that fiver, seven and a half dollars is going out for about £35. Seven times my money. And it's in good condition. And she's beautiful. And quite unusual, she has detail around the eyes, nose and mouth, which most of the time you don't really get the Christmas. So that was okay. Another piece you saw me buy in was this. Now, gives you an idea how long stuff stays on the table. You actually see in my video, she's unwrapping it, putting it out onto the table like that. And as it, she's taking her hand away, my hand is reaching for it. That's how quick things move at the car boot sale. Now, I purchased this. It's got a uh, Murano glass label on there. Now, that doesn't mean anything. There are so many fake Murano labels out there. Now, I'm pretty sure the label is all right. Um, now, you can go. There's a Murano glass group on Facebook. And they've actually got sections on fake labels, real labels, and so forth. Um, so, if anybody's interested in... Uh, I know if any Murano they got is real, go to the Facebook group. It'll have sections in there, uh, albums, fake labels, and so forth. Now, I've got to do some research. I haven't done no research on it yet, but it cost me £2. Now, whether it's Murano or whether it's just a bit of art glass, it's still going to be worth £10 or £15. I'm not going to lose no money on there. It cost me £2, nor even $3. And you saw how quick I purchased that. As it came off her hand, my hand was on it. But just because something's got a Murano label, don't trust it. Judge the item for the for itself. This, I think, is going to be all right. But again, it's not going to be a valuable piece. It's going to be like 10 or 15 pounds. Um, but for two pounds, it's going to be a cheap little item to go on the website. I like some cheap items on the website that people can relate to um, and just pick up and just have a little curio. Look at them handles. They almost look like pelicans. Big bird beaks. Anyway, two pound. Quite early on, you saw me buy a set of these with the black glass bases. Now, there's one large bowl, center fruit bowl, and two smaller bowls. Unfortunately, the one small bowl has got a chip on the foot. It's not the end of the world, but it means I won't put it online. Um, so I will sell the large one. Large one. These are by Sowerby. Now, if you look here, this is actually an elephant's head and the elephant's tusk coming up. They're by Sowerby. Easiest way in the world to know is where are they? Uh, right. So I come to 20thCenturyGlass.com. Um, here's my example. All right, they're shown in a different color. It's that one there, flashing blue. It's Sowerby pattern number 2614, and it has the elephant handles there. You can see the elephant's head and the handles coming up. There is a variety of them done that. They've done a jug as well with the elephant handle. 2614 is obviously the pattern number for the elephant rather than the shape of the item. Um, but this website does absolutely all the glass you want. Just come down, go to the website here, 20thCenturyGlass.com, browse Encyclopedia, and you can jump to any maker you want or just search by the country and the makers. Um, let me give you an idea. Let's go to British Glass, uh, White Friars, and there you have all the shapes, the patterns, the numbers, pattern numbers, and so forth. There's loads and loads of information there. Be careful with these drunken bricklayers because they are copied to hell and back now. So, I had a little look on eBay 
they don't pull as much as I hoped for Art Deco glass. Now, this one here glows in the dark. That is uranium. I don't know if these are uranium. I haven't put a, a black light on them. All you got to do is the black ultraviolet light on them, and it'll glow in the dark if they're uranium. Um, you can see there, they pull in sort of 25, 30 for a pair of the little ones here. Um, I don't know if they were little or big. Let's have a look. They sold for 100 for a pair. Size, 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 size. They're the little ones. So they had a hundred pound for a pair of the little ones. I've got a pair of the little ones with the bases. Um, that's where I'm holding in my hand here, and they had a hundred sold for them. And I've also got the large one. I'm probably going to still sell them as a pair and put it on and just say the one's got a chip on the foot because I think they'll still want to be displayed as a pair. And I'll probably ask £20 for the pair, £25 for the pair, and £25 or £30 for the large one. So I'll get about £50 back for my £10 outlay, which is about $13.5, $14. That's all I paid for those. They probably know your uranium looking at them, but uh, you, can, you can never tell. But the large bowl and this one are perfect. The bases are perfect. It's just that one chip on the foot, which is heartbreaking, because I would have put it on as a set. You know, the large bowl and the two smaller bowls. But either way, a tenner. I didn't knock him down. I didn't see the point. I thought they were well worth the money. So that's where I left it. Another thing you saw me buy was this. This is a hair um, walking cane. Now, it's got a bit of uh, wear and that's where, but easy enough. Strip it down, wax it if I want to. Nothing saying I'm going to, because what's important is this here. Now, it's cell, it's plastic or celluloid or something along them lines or resin um, that's been finished off by hand, carved by hand. Glass eyes. Now, albeit this eye here is broke, this eye here is scuffed to hell. Easiest thing in the world, buy a bit of costume jewellery, glass beads, take two beads off, glue the two beads on, job done. You'll have two new eyes within a week or two. I'll probably rub this down and wax it. Uh, I looked online. This has got a bit of age. It's probably like 10, 20, 30 year old. Um, and they're retailing between 30 and 60. Um, that's where they're at with these. As you know, it cost me £4, which is about $6. So it's a nice hair. Um, it'll probably still end up on the website because it's so unusual to have the hair. So that's where I see this. I see this about £30, £35, something like that. Once I put two new eyes on there and give this wood a little bit of a rub down and wax. I think this one is still in the video. Um, I purchased the silver neck. Yeah, I'm sure. Silver necklace and two earrings. Um, the earrings have gone straight in the scrap box. They were broken, fortunately. But I'll, I paid a fiver for a necklace and the box of earrings. I think they're still in the video. It's about two quid, two and a half quids worth of scrap in the uh, earrings because it was two pairs, big ones. So this owes me about two fifty three pounds. So let's say five dollars. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'm not sure what the stones are. Oh, I'm not even sure. What was the suffragette colours? No, I don't like that some. But we got blue, white, and green here. With the pearls hanging down the bottom in sterling silver, it's got to be 10 or 15 pounds just as a decorative bit of silver there. Uh, so we'll have a bit of a clean, um, be listed for 10 or 15 pounds as a cheap bit of jewelry, and that'll be up on the website probably in a wee while. I, I'm not going to rush to it, it's not something I'm jumping up and down, got to get on. I think this is the last buy I had from Terra Birth, um, which was this which is a 1970s Mercedes-Benz uh, remote control car or radio control car. Now, the box has seen better days, if you can call it a box anymore. It's just the polystyrene case and the cover. It's lost the bottom of the box. However, to have that bit there is still nice because uh, you still got the graphics on there and telling you what it is and who made it. Now, the ones of these you want to buy are Shuko. Uh, Shuko ones are like £200. I've looked. 
Um, when I saw it, I got quite excited thinking I've seen these at Crazy Money, and I have, but they were the Shuko ones. So as gutted as it is, I still like it. Now, it cost me a tenner. He asked 12, but he was trading new me, and I've had it for the tenner. Important.